Hi children. Yes. We are back to the class and this is our English class. You are all of class 5. Yeah. Did you remember something about last class? That is our express class. Okay. So we are going to read about that only once again. So what so what about what is that that we learned in the last class? Yeah. It is the story of flying robot. Robert. Yes. So who is this robot? What we have learned yesterday? Do you want to revise it back, children? Yes, I want to revise it back because the today's topic is also related to yesterday's poem. We read about a poem, the story of flying robot. So that's what the story children. So in the story, we talked about the person. It was riding heavily, and all the boys and girls would stay at home. But what happened? Who came out? Robert the name. The boy with the name Robert came out and he was called in the poem as Bob. His character name was made shortcut and called the same person as Bob. So what happens when the rain pours out? Heavy when it was raining, when every boy and girl, boys and girls, children are inside the house, who came out? Robert. Robert came out of the house with an umbrella, he went. He went into the rain, which was very heavy, very flowing up. And what happened, madam? We talked, right? You have seen the pictures, we talked, what did they know? How was this? The wind was blowing very, very heavy. That, like, the, like the person said, everything was blowing away. So, with the umbrella, he went outside. So, the wind was blowing away. He went along with the wind flying high and high and high as he was going going the wind didn't stop him him down anyway he was just going with the wind going on high and high and high he was screaming and shouting after that but what happened to him did he come down did anyone listen to him no no one listened to him no one responded to him because it was very high so after so before Doing anything, we need to say things so many times. So when parents say something, we need to listen. So that's what the poet wants to tell us from this poem. So what more children? So by this, did anyone hear him then? No, he was screaming and shouting, but no one listened to him. No one cannot hear because the rain was pouring out. Rain was heavy outside. It was raining so much. So his cap, first his cap had a little falling down on his cap as well as the umbrella was taking him high and high and high and he saw the clouds so he went near the clouds and so he was going and going and going. So at last he concluded the poem with the sentence, Bob was never seen again. Yeah, it means the, the person, the robot, the nickname of him is what children? Bob. So Bob was never seen again. Um, the, after that, no one has seen the person Robert again. So, by this poem, what poet wanted to tell us? He wanted to tell us that children should follow the things, follow what parents say. If they don't listen to parents, nothing is going to be good for them. So, as you can see, the author may have written this poem to teach children. He wanted to teach children in a funny way so that can, the children can understand in a better way. That see, things happen like this too. If they don't listen to elders, if they don't listen, don't follow the things as they are. Rules. When they said we not to go out in the rain, you shouldn't go out. See what happened to Bob. He, the wind blow heavily and what happened? He went high and high and high with the wind. So this is what children were wanted to tell us. So then what if this was discussed about yesterday? So today what are we going to learn? So, so we are going to discuss more about this poem that is rhyming scheme. What is the rhyming scheme? So for that, we need to find out the rhyming words to know what is the rhyming scheme. So we will be getting the screen share of the poem once again and just have a look at it and we will be reading it. The poem. Look at the screen share children.
Yeah. So once read the poem, I also will be reading. Just follow the story of flying robot. When the rain comes tumbling down in the country or the town, all good little girls and boys stay at home and hunt their toys. Robert thought more when it pours, it is better out of doors. When it did that in a minute, Bob was in it. Here you see him, silly fellow, underneath his red umbrella. So this is the first part of the poem today, and see the line from the stanzas. Yes. So what are we going to do now in from this? I will say rhyming scheme. Rhyming scheme. I said for that we need to find out rhyming words. So. Do you know where do the rhyming words will be daily in poem? Yes, I know that you know. So at the end of the rhyme, at the end of the line, the last word will be the rhyming word. So here you will see the first one. When the rain comes tumbling down, so down. For so down there is a rhyming word for us. In the next line itself, we have the rhyming word for down. That is town. Okay. Then all good little girls and boys stay at home and mind their toys. Yes, boys. Toys. You know what are rhyming words? Rhyming words are the words which have same ending sounds. Okay, rhyming words are the words which have same ending sounds in respect to of the spelling. Yes, without spelling, you should see only the ending sounds. Okay, so boys, boys, toys. Okay, then Robert thought no when it pours, it is better out of doors. Pours, if you see this word, you can clearly understand. Pours is a different spelling, and doors is a different spelling, but they are rhyming. Doors, doors. It will just know. We should not just spell it. We should only the sounds of the words. So, doors, doors. Okay. Doors, 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 doors. So, this is what the sounds. If any sound is saying, that's what I call as rhyming words. Rainy did and net. Bob was it. Here you see him, silly fellow. Under the tips, red umbrella. Okay, I will hear we don't have any rhyming words at the end of the line because fellow and umbrella are different. Minute and it are different, some different sounds. They don't rhyme. So, as you can see, we are talking about rhyming words. So, we have another way of the poem also, children, just to be had a look at it and we also find out the rhyming words. Yes, second page. Yes. What a wind, oh, how it whistles through the trees and flowers and puzzles. See, children, I said ending the last words. Whistles. Thizzles. See, whistles, thizzles. Okay, the sound is saying. It has caught his red umbrella. Now look at him, silly fellow. Up he flies to the skies. Up he flies to the skies. Yeah, here again with the song being the same. What are the words? Flies. Skies. Yes. Then, no one heard his screams and cries. Oh, we have a word of children here. Cries. Flies, skies, cries. So, flies, skies, cries. So, as I said, the poem will have rhyming words. So, we can see this rhyming words very clear at the end of the line. Through the clouds, the moon wind bore him, and his hat flew on before him. Soon they go to stay high, they were nearly out of sight. Yeah, I think here also we have got another rhyming word, pair of rhyming words. What is that? 
height. Because those two words are rhyming. 
Then the second one is coming to the next two lines. Yes, boys and toys are rhyming again. So that is put it as B. The rhyme scheme. So how many rhymes are putting and which way the tone is going on when you put it, naming them like that and then to follow the rhyme scheme to which rhyme scheme is nothing but it is helpful for the rhyme to put it in a proper way in a rhythmic order with the rhyme words. Every poem, every poem will have a rhyme. Okay, children, I hope you understood this and you can move now to a better one of the rhyming words also. What are the rhyming words? Every poem will have a rhyming word and the poem will have lines and in the lines, the rhyming words will be at the end of the line. Yes, so as I told you, rhyming scheme is a rhythmic thing which has been added to the poem using the rhyming words. So they, they mark the A, B, C, as I said, first one with A. We said first two lines is with the rhyming scheme one, because the boys and toys is rhyming with two sentences, two lines. We say the second as B, third one as C, fourth one as D. Like that, how many rhyming sentences are there, two, two lines? That many letters will be added. So in our poem, we have eight lines of it, eight rhyming schemes. A rhyming scheme can make the poem easier to remember and more fun to remember and say. That is the reason we talk about writing the scheme children. So that's all for our class today. Nothing to worry about. Rhyming schemes, it is added you know, to the poem with rhyming words, and which makes the poem to be easy and remember, and also to remember the poem very, very easy. That's all children. That's all for our class today. I hope you understood the class, and I hope you understood the writing words very well, how to find them and how to understand them, how to read the poem well. Okay, so then bye bye. Next week in our next class. Bye bye.